Hey everyone, it's Christina here from One Creative Direction. How are we doing tonight? And I do say night because it is very late here. And I don't know why, but I got the sudden urge to go fishing. A little bit of a pun. Uh, we are going to pour on some fish. So I don't know if anybody out there watched my video where I had a larger fish that I had gotten and I did a cup pour over that. And I don't remember if I had the, tur the two piece sea turtle in the same video or if I released that at all, but I painted uh, a two piece ceramic uh, sea turtle as well with a little bit different color scheme uh, than the fish. Um, if you saw those videos or that video, um, then we're going to do the same thing. Uh, I just approached it a little bit different. Uh, sitting here mixing up my paints. I haven't used them in a while. Actually, I haven't even painted in a while. I just got back from Florida on Saturday and uh, it was a really, really good trip. But I won't bore you with the details. Um, anyway, so what I did is I bought these four little fish and I, of course, put the ceramic coat on them. I painted them all up, put a couple layers on them. Uh, and if you saw my other video, the other fish had openings as well and it was much bigger. Uh, so I had reached inside the, the bottom opening and put painter's tape on the inside. And because these fish are so much smaller, I thought to myself, gosh, that is gonna be very painful to try to do that. So I came up with the idea of blowing up a balloon inside of there. Uh, it's pretty tight against the sides here. So I'm hoping it works. Uh, so this is kind of a bit of a trial as well. So I'm hoping the paint doesn't go down inside. Uh, so these little fishies actually have a little battery operated light that uh, inserts uh, into the bottom here. Um, they were just barely glued on here. I got these at Dollar Tree. Um, so I'll glue those uh, back on the openings. Actually, I have one right here. So there's a little, um, little tiny LED light that goes in there and those just go inside like that. It has an on off switch. So, so I thought that was the easiest way to um, cover those holes from the inside. And then when I'm, obviously when it's done, I can just pop the balloon. Um, so hopefully this works. I will let you know after I pour on them and they dry, I'll update the video with that and let you know how that went. But I've got my colors mixed up here and I'm gonna pause the video uh, to layer my cups, but I'm using the same Deco Art uh, clearance paints. These were $2 a jar. I got them at Hobby Lobby a while back when they clearanced them. I have four different colors. I have the, I think it's silver. I'm not sure what the official name is. Yeah, just silver. Um, I have Morning Glory. It's this beautiful blue. You can see that. And then I have this orange color. It's called Sunset. Nice bright orange. And then I have this um, kind of a neonish green called succulent. And last time I did not put white in, but this time I am going to put some white in as well um, when I layer my cup. So got my paints all stirred up. And I'm gonna layer my cup and I will be right back. Okay guys, I'm back. I've got my cup layered. Of course, I almost overflowed it. So you can see, and hopefully I don't regret putting that white in there, right? Uh, so yeah, this should be very interesting. I hope there's enough in here to do all four. I left the paints open just in case. Uh, 
So yeah, what I'm going to try to do is do a little bit over each one of them. I'm not going to do a full, full on of each one. Um, so I can get a little bit of variety. Uh, so this should be interesting. I'm trying to get this on the actual fish. All right, let's go. Okay guys, so I am going to speed this up and go ahead and uh, play music at the end after a quick voiceover. Uh, so with any pour, when you overfill your cup, uh, you have a little struggle at the beginning and I kind of anticipated that. You can see the paint comes out in a little bit of blob here and there until I get to a level of uh, an easier pour and scrape off the side so it stops running down the edge of the uh, silicone cup. Um, making a mental note to stop filling my cups too full uh, for future ones. But um, in the end, uh, they turn out really, really good. So uh, again, I'm gonna speed this up so you guys don't have to sit through it. I don't like long videos. And I'll come back at the end for wet and dry results so you guys can see how they turned out. So enjoy and thanks for watching.
Okay, well here are the wet fish. Took me a little while to touch up the bottoms and it seemed like the paint would kind of, let me get over here, kind of miss this, oh, let's see if I can get my finger in here, this bottom area here and then underneath the snout as well, or whatever you call it. Um, so I had to kind of touch it up with my, my stir stick. But I think they turned out pretty good. I thought there was a bare spot there, but I think I'm good. Hopefully these balloons work out really well. You can see it. You can still see the balloons in there, so hopefully we didn't get too much paint in there that's like all over the inside. But yeah, I think they turned out pretty good. I like the coloring. Making sure I didn't miss any spots there. But yeah, I will come back uh, when they are dry. Hopefully sometime tomorrow, and I will pop those balloons and pull those out of there and see how that worked out. I'll probably take like a, a knife or something just real lightly like try to cut that paint off because this paint's pretty thick uh, just try to maybe pop it from there or pop it from the bottom I don't know yet we'll have to experiment with the first one but uh, yeah I'll be back when they're dry to show you the dry results and pop those balloons all right. Hey everybody, I'm back for an update. So as you can see, these turned out, dried really, really good as they did, as it did the last time. So I have removed the balloon out of three of them and I will uh, tell you that it worked really well for the most part. Um, it varied. So this one, there's just a few places I have to trim on the inside there. Uh, I will say that one of them, it, I think it was, this one, the balloon must have like deflated at some point. I don't know if it was while I was pouring, but it was pretty flat. So there is a little bit of paint inside this one, which I'm not gonna get too upset about. Uh, this one has a little bit more paint I need to trim and that's fine, I can use a exacto. This one still has the balloon in it and I did take this and kind of try to push the balloon away from the edge uh, this is just a pen pen that I use for my Cricut stuff. So all I did was, you know, come down here to the bottom and just let the air out and either get it out with this or another tool. So yeah, um, I think it worked really well. There is a tiny little bit of paint around the inside of each hole, but um, definitely prevented the paint from going in there um, significantly. So I would do that again. So just wanted to update you, um, show you how cute these turned out. Um, really, really like them. I'm going to uh, do the same thing I did last time and probably paint the little eyes on. Uh, I don't know if I'll do any other embellishments, but I'll, I'll probably leave that unpainted and uncoated because I am gonna have to glue these back in right so let's see how this looks with the light on I don't know if you can see that I have my light but yeah super cute all right thanks for joining me guys I hope you like this please let me know what you think in the comments I would appreciate it um curious uh if I get some more of these fish are there colors that you think would look really good with them. Uh, put that down in the comments. Catch you on the next one.